What's up, buttercup? <laughs> Dang it, now I'm hungry again. I did this last time. I did not learn. I cannot talk about food in my intros. Shoot. All right. Either way, <laughs> hope you guys are having a great one. Say, hope the day's going well. Hope you're doing something you're passionate about. Hope you're spending time with people who make you that much more passionate about those things. We'd love to hear about your passions. We'd love to hear more about you. Message me over at Clayton J. Jensen. Let's get to know each other better and see how we can help each other. Bring light to issues that we care about. Make this world a better place. If you remember in yesterday's vlog, we discussed be the best you. Let's not act like the person we think we are. Let's act like the person we want to be. What does that mean? That means each and every day, let's not settle for rationalizing why it's okay to not show complete love and respect to an individual and utilize some excuse of this is how I was raised, this is my culture, this is my gender, this is the color of my skin, this is where I was born. There is no valid justification for why we should be treating anyone with less than love and respect all the time regardless of how they treat us. And that starts with being the best version of ourselves and never settling. Being happy with who we are, that's important, but then attempting to always make ourselves better because it's not just about what's good for us, it's about those individuals around us who we can make ourselves better for. Thought that'd be a great time. Today's topic we'll be discussing, side hustle. I know we've heard the term a lot, synonymous with today's pop culture, especially in the entrepreneur community. What is side hustle? Side hustle is essentially the ability to monetize our passions on the side i.e. side hustle, to not just settle for our day jobs or whatever we're doing to pay our bills, but to ensure that we're doing something on the side so that ideally one day we can set our own schedules so that we can utilize our time to help make this world a better place. And that's the key point right there, that having a side hustle, monetizing our passions is not just about what's best for us or even for those closest around us. It's actually what's best for our community as a whole. Why is that? Because when we spend our time efficiently, we're able to not only provide the resource of us, we're able to provide the resource of what we've created, of the monetary value that we've been able to create with the passions that we've monetized. Let's ensure that we're treating everyone around us with love and respect, and that starts with creating a side hustle. That starts with monetizing our passions. We can't just sit back and hope our life turns out to be like we want it to. Each day, we need to make a conscious effort to live the life we always wanted to. And that means putting in that extra work. That means finding something that you're so passionate about that you want to do that each and every day, that you want to shed light on those issues, and that you want to monetize your passion so that you can utilize the resources you've created to help bring even that much more light to the situations that you care about. To be able to provide yourself the schedule where now you can utilize your time more efficiently instead of sitting in an office all day, regardless of how much you like that work. It's hard to help those around us when we're just worried about our paycheck. When we're just worried about the nine to five grind, it is so hard to use ourselves efficiently. We are the best resource that we can provide anyone. And what do we do with ourselves? What do we do with our time to ensure that we're bringing light to issues that we care about? And the best way to do that is to monetize our passions. Great quote by Abraham Lincoln, things may come to those who wait, but only the things left by those who didn't hustle. Let's make sure that we're the ones who hustle, that we're the ones who want something more, not just for ourselves, but for our community as a whole. Let's just say you cared really deeply about a specific charity. You wanna spend any of your free time helping out that charity. Well, what does that charity need? What do charities need as a whole? They need resources. They need people that can help, and they also need the monetary value that they can put into further resources. They can buy water for people, they can buy goods, they can help build structures for people. We need money to do that. Well, if that's the case, then wouldn't it be more beneficial for that charity 
if we spent some of our time monetizing our passions, tie that in with the charity, utilize the platforms that we've created with our business to help further highlight that charity, and then utilize the time that we spent on this business to monetize that passion and utilize some of those resources to help that charity further. I mean, isn't that what's key for the charity, providing them as many resources as possible? And if we're able to monetize our passion and set our own schedules, we're not only able to provide monetary value, we're able to provide more of ourselves, more time for those around us, more time for the issues that we care about so deeply. Some of us can't get by on talent alone, but the rest of us need to put in the extra effort. Look, some of us are born in a certain way where everything comes easy, but for the vast majority of us, we need to put in that extra effort. We need to put in that extra time because if we want something better, if we want a better lives for ourselves, for those around us, and for the larger community, then we need to have a side hustle. Then we need to be monetizing our passions. Look, it doesn't mean that side hustle needs to turn into our full-time job for one day. I mean, that may be the ideal situation so we can set our schedule. But that's not the end goal, at least it shouldn't be. It should be to help those around us and one great way to do that is to monetize our passions. The famous bench coach for the Yankees for many years, actually probably most famously known for the fight that he got in with Pedro Martinez, where Pedro Martinez grabbed him by the ears and threw him to the ground. Quite a uh, tough sight to see, but you can definitely look it up and ch check that out. Don Zimmer once said that, what you look at in talent can be made up by desire, hustle, and giving 110% all the time. What we don't have in talent we can make up for by the effort that we put in, by the hustle that we put in each and every day to help make a difference. You know, when it's just about us, when it's just about us making money, it's hard to put in that extra effort. It's hard to truly care. But when we've got that bigger goal, when we've got that bigger mission statement, we've got that driving force larger than just making money, not only do we have a stronger driving force, we're able to cur curtail other people into that. We're able to highlight that so efficiently that other people cannot help but want to join because they see the good being done and they want to be part of it. Not just for the issue that you're speaking about, but for any issue that they care about because you're now leading by example. We need to use the extra resources we create to improve our community, our time, and our monetary value that we're able to provide. And we can do that much more when we're not just stuck in an office each and every day. And if we are, the ability to spend the rest of our time, other than finding some time to relax, to help shed light on issues that we care about, and that starts with monetizing our passions, that starts with a side hustle. And we need to ensure that our work makes the community better, because in turn, a healthy community makes your business better, because the individuals are able to purchase more, they have already bought into your mission statement, they care about you, they see that you care about them, they wanna buy from a friend, they wanna buy from someone who cares about them, just as much as you care about them. The best kinds of people in your life aren't those who gather to celebrate your success, but those who gather to help you hustle. Great quote by Usman Azmahil. It's easy for people to be around when we're celebrating, when the times are good, but we truly see the people that care about us and care about things larger than just making money and themselves when they're there for the tough times, when they're there to help work, when they're there when it's not always the easiest. That's what differentiates the best friends because the ones who are helping us work, who are helping us monetize our passions, they're helping our community in turn. They're helping their community. It all makes sense to love always, to respect those around us first and foremost because it's not just about what's best for us, it's also about what's best for our community. I want to leave you with a great quote today by my man, Young Jeezy. Yeah, I said it, Young Jeezy. He says, my hustle is nonstop. I never stop hustling. Never stop hustling, guys. Never stop hustling because it's not just about what's best for us. It's about what's best for our community and for those who live within it. We need to be monetizing our passions. We need to be utilizing the time that we have to make this world a better place. Thanks for tuning in today, guys. Hope you enjoyed the discussion on Side Hustle. I know I did. If you have any questions, if you want to talk about anything, I would love to hear more about you, more about what you're passionate about. Message me over at Clayton J. Jensen. Let's get to know each other better. Let's see how we can co-brand 
how we can brand social good, and how we can make this world a better place. Remember, tomorrow's not guaranteed. How are we utilizing today to make this world a better, healthier place? I think that's an important question we ask ourselves every single day. All right, guys, I hope you have a great rest of the Wednesday. I hope the day goes well, and I can't wait to see you guys here tomorrow. As always, you guys spread joy. You guys love always. You guys stay peace.